using it. Shares of Google are up more than 40% year over year. The stock hit brand new highs. Look at the stock price, David, at 871. While you weren't looking, because everybody was watching Google's arch rival Apple stock plummet, down about 20% year over year, they didn't notice Google was moving higher. But we've been telling you. So now the question becomes, with Google high, Apple lower, will Google continue to dominate or will Apple make some kind of triumphant comeback? Joining me now is Jeff Reeves, editor for InvestorPlace.com, to tell us which one should be in our portfolio. Hi, Jeff. Hi, how you doing? Okay. Uh, I'm a, I'm a big it? believer in Google instead of Apple in this, uh, just because, I mean, if you look at kind of the fundamentals, uh, Apple has kind of had this deteriorating track run here where uh, for the last three quarters, revenue has dropped from 25% growth to 18% growth to 11% growth. At last uh, quarter, we just saw the first year-over-year -year profit decline in a decade. So the fundamentals aren't on Apple's side. Google, on the other hand, the last three quarters has grown revenue by 30% or more. I think that there's just more, more growth here, and it's partially because, you know, Google is just a, a giant of online advertising, but it's got a couple other things cooking. Like today, we heard about, you know, the paid version of YouTube that they're coming out with. It's, it's not going to cure cancer or anything like that, but at least they're exploring new revenue well, streams to add to the monetizing YouTube growth. finally. When you look at YouTube, which has so many people jumping on it every five seconds, it's fascinating to see why it's taken this long. But now the, the news today was that YouTube announced they would have a bunch of shows that will cost money, everything from Sesame Street. We have the whole list we could put up. But here's the question about the paid advertisement. It's still their bread and butter, these costs per click. And in essence, their main source of revenue saw a 4% decrease year over year in the most recent earnings report. That doesn't concern you? Well, it does concern me, and I'm not acting like this is a, a surefire thing right here because Apple does have a lot going for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's pretty reasonably valued. It's got $100 billion that's going to return capital to shareholders. So it's not like Apple's a dog and Google's the automatic winner here. Google has its troubles, but, you know, I'm really encouraged by this kind of 2011 manifesto that Larry Page put out that said they're going to put more wood behind fewer arrows. So they have a focus on their business. They're trying to figure out new revenue streams in addition to the online advertising, but they're being more, more prudent in what they're doing. Like they shut down Google Reader. They're not throwing money around at as many pet projects as they used to. And I think they're being more focused. And one of those areas is kind of paid content through YouTube and, and also their kind of hardware business that's coming out with some of the Motorola stuff uh, on the heels of that acquisition is finally starting to pay dividends. They got the Nexus line. There's this rumor of an X phone coming out. So it's not all Google Glass. You know, there is actual tangible things that Google is doing. And one more, one more thing real quickly. In their annual report, it said that last year, $860 million came from other projects. Now, I know Google is a huge company, and that's really only like 6 or 7% of revenue, but $860 million is not, you know, it's not a, a mean feat, even if it is, you know, a rounding error for Google. Well, so there's potential there. Okay, so, so let, you brought up Larry Page. For those who don't know, although you would probably know, unless you're living under a rock, Larry Page was one of the founders, along with Sergey Brin, he and Sergey were running the company. Then they brought in Eric Schmidt, a grown-up. And then Eric recently stepped up to just chairman, and these guys came back. In fact, Larry Page had a, a little bit of a rocky start. What do you grade him now? He looks very strong as a leader, does he not? Yeah, and I mean, and that's the, kind of the name of the game here is I, I think leadership-wise, he, he ranks really well. And, and that's kind of one of the sentiment things around Apple that causes me to be a little bit negative. And frankly, a lot of traders that I know, even though it's rebounded from 385 just a couple weeks so ago. So what, what do you grade, Larry? What do you grade Tim Cook at Apple? I mean, I'd, I'd probably give uh, Tim, Tim Cook's probably like a, a C plus or B minus. I mean, I don't want to be too critical. He's got huge shoes to fill. Okay. But I mean, selling just a cheap iPhone, just lowering the price point and reducing the margins even more, that ain't going to cut it. I mean, I think at least Google has its arms around where it needs to be. Whether or not, you know, YouTube is just skating where the puck is, if they never put it in the goal, I mean, that's a, reason, that, that's a oh, decent question to ask. But at least they're skating where the puck is. Thank you for using a hockey analogy and not soccer. Go that. Rangers, man. <laughs> yeah, Rangers, Kings. Sorry, we got to do East West Coast. Quick last question here. Last question. Make it very clear. If I have a choice, you're going to tell me to buy Google at the highs here and not Apple in my portfolio? Yeah, I know. It's classic, you know, kind of buy, high, sell, low type of thing. But remember, if you're underwater in Apple because you were trading at around five or six, I mean, you, you can make, I believe you can make your money back faster in Google than you are going to in Apple. I feel like it's up against the ceiling right here. Right. You might get the 2.7% dividend, but I think there's long-term growth potential in Google where you'll make more money. Not that Apple's going to go bankrupt, but I feel like it's a better trade for the next 18 months. Jeff Reeves with the new no 